though, you want to learn how to catch a fish with your bare hands like a bear. See what I did there? Ba bare hands with like a bear? <laughs> I'm a comedian. Hey guys, I'm at the Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this this little it scrambled TV like noise kind of thing. And I think this is really cool because it's something really basic, but it's actually I, I, I had to do a little bit of thinking for this one, just a little bit of thinking. So you can see here that the uh, node setup is not too insane, um, just a couple of the same thing twice. Um, but uh, but yeah, so let's get started. First thing I did was I made a uh, sphere. And then I just lit the sphere a little bit. You can see we have a whole bunch of lamps on it. Um, you don't have to do this part. You could just make it in the mission shader instead. Um, but I did want to just, uh, I wanted to light it and add a little bit of a mission to it. And you'll see why in a little bit. Because um, TV screens sometimes have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of shading on them sometimes. Depending on if it's an older TV or not. So, um, the first thing I did was I went ahead and hit shift D shift D shift a sorry and search for a Voronoi texture um, or, or noise that's noise so we, I searched for a noise texture and I plugged the noise texture into the emission of the principal BSDF um, and then I just I by the way to open this up I split my window into two by putting my cursor in the top left hand corner and went waiting until it turned to a plus and then just dragging and then I just changed this to the shader editor by the way in case you didn't know how I got here um there you go so uh if it shift a and search for a Voronoi texture right there boom plop that down right here um and then I made it go into the base color like that there you go and the scale is on 50.6 the randomness is on zero I have this on f1 um which I believe is the default um, but yeah, so the values for the noise texture, the colors going into the emission, it's 31, uh, 15, 0.5, and 0. Um, and it'll give us this kind of look like this. And now the next thing we did was, you can see it looked like, it looked just like, just like this. There we go. That's exactly what it should look like. A little bit of noise on there over top of the, like, the squares, the random color squares. Um, now with that done, what I did after that was I added a mapping and a texture coordinate node. So shift a search mapping, there you go. Shift a search texture coordinate node. There you go. I'm um, right there. So what I did was I plugged the texture coordinate normal into the vector of the mapping. And then I plugged the vector of the mapping into the vector of the Voronoi texture. And what that did instantly was, as you can see, um, once I animated the values, it made it so that it looks, like, it looks like it's moving, which is very, very cool. So what I did was, um, on this um, right here, you can see the location. I hover my cursor over top of X and hit I. Right there, there you go. So now on the frame, on zero frame, I hover my cursor over this and hit I created a uh, keyframe right there and then I went to the last frame which is my frame 50 I set my in frame to 50 and then I changed the x value to 10 so I just type 10 in hover my cursor over top of the 10 and hit I on my keyboard there you go I did the same exact thing down here same exact thing so I just plugged all that stuff back in and but in the only difference is instead of it being Verona it's a noise texture like that and then I just went to frame zero uh, I hit, hover my cursor over top of X at zero, go, went to frame 50, hover my cursor over the top of that, uh, I changed to 10, hover my cursor over top of it, hit, hit I, and entered it a keyframe. Now what this does is, as you can see, it makes it so that uh, the noise and the squares both move. Now, the only thing that I did after this was because when the keyframes would slow down uh, and start up at the beginning of the animation it kind of made it look a little weird so what i need to do oh so what we need to do is we need to come in here and as you can see like the lines kind of smooth upwards and smooth down like this right they, we don't want that because it looks like the animation is stopping and starting every single time the it gets to zero or 50. so just go open up the graph editor by changing this little uh, dialogue up here to the graph editor right there right click interpolation Linear, boom. As you can see, it is now straight line, and it won't it be uh, it won't slow down and speed up anymore. Now it's just a constant, a constant value. And as you can see, the the, the colors change, the values change. So it looks like the TV is being scrambled, which is very, very, very cool. Now you could go ahead and um, make these cubes like longer if you wanted to by using the x uh, by using the x axis or the y axis. Sorry, the y axis like this. Um, which some TVs are this way, especially older ones. Some of the 
um, cubes are a little longer, but you have to keep in mind that obviously you wouldn't be using a, a, a circle, so it's, you know, don't worry about the stretching, but you have to keep in mind that um, if you want the, uh, the Y value to go back, you would have to, of course, put that back to zero. Um, sorry, back to one, sorry, not zero. Um, but there you go. So they, you, can do the, you can do the Z value as well, make them a little longer, which is probably how it would actually be a little longer. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. That is basically it for today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know down below as always. Click the video on the screen right now for more tutorials. Handpick this video literally just for you. I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye-bye.